So far, so good. I think. That level of strength won't affect me. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you guys asking him? He, You guys were the ones attacked by him. I mean, I guess you guys were so scared you didn't know. <laughs> you couldn't remember. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that is an important thing that people make a distinction of. Uh, Mihawk is only, like, pure skill. There is nothing like, uh... Supernatural, no superpowers about him. It's mostly pure natural skill. Although even then in One Piece, natural skills are a little bit weird. But the point is, that's all, you know, just him himself has his power. You know, he has no special superpower, at least as far as I can tell. He's just really, really good as a swordsman. I've never... I mean, I've seen a sword as big as something like that. It's just, it feels a little bit more cumbersome. <laughs> uh, sorry if I'm coughing, I apologize. I I've been suffering through a cold as well, so, eh. Um, yeah. Again, I'm pretty sure you guys should be, like, slightly familiar with this guy, but whatever. And, uh, let's see. Anything else? No? Okay. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, dear lord. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess we, we're just fighting now. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Well, that was quick. <laughs> there was a lot more to this, but eh, I won't get too deep into it. But remember, we can't show blood, so we can't see show you know him actually hurt getting hurt from that attack. The next one though will definitely show, I think, but you know there won't be blood. <laughs> like that this is a, an emotional moment for like uh the whole series as well but in game format it's not that uh, greatly shown but uh, whatever yeah don't worry that cut didn't even go through him Oh man, I forgot how badly, like, how a little bit, like, less so this in, this scene was impacted in this game. <laughs> it's almost halfway, like, a, <laughs> a uh, four kids dub edit. <laughs> Like, I love this moment, but it doesn't really work too well in this, like, scenario. <laughs> Especially since Yojiko and Johnny aren't here to help. <laughs> Wait, did the other thing happen already? Oh, God. Um... <laughs> well... 
Well. Hold up. Yeah, not dealing with that. Okay, okay, let's uh, head over into this area. Try and gain control of it. Something. Okay, let's, uh... Right, let's see. Ah, oh, here it is. I will say, this ha event happened before the Zoro fight thing. But I guess I skipped over it, or, you know, fast forward, whatever. So yeah, Zoro's out for the count for now. Hmm. <laughs> uh. There's a weird shine to her in this scenario, which kind of feels weird to see. Well. Well. So, yeah, Nami just left and stole this ship. I know we really shouldn't have expected much considering she's a thief, but uh, you know, uh, you know what? We're we're gonna go after her as soon as we're done with this situation. Because when Luffy sets out to make you a friend and you're a crewmate with us, you're not gonna leave until either you're dead or otherwise, or you know, something similar to that. <clears throat> Ugh. Okay, let's try this. Nice! Nice! Luffy's pretty good at racking up the exclamation knockouts. Or special knockouts, whatever you want to call them. I forgot their names. But he's pretty good at this because, well, it's pretty easy to do this. Oh yeah, by the way, that whole glowing leg thing for Sanji, uh, that's an ability he should be learning a little bit later on. But you know, right now he just is able to use it, so uh, keep that in mind. I think it's called Jamba Leg, uh, or Diamba Leg, something with the J of sorts. It's French. By the way, yeah, that, that is something I do want to mention. Most of Sanji's attacks, weapons, and abilities are all, um, you know... Uh, French themed, or at least French name theme and cooking. Like different names, like, uh, Corsu Shot, or, you know, different types of, uh, uh, you know, names of, you know, different foods and stuff like that. That's his theming of attacks, so keep that in mind. Other than that, not much else for Sanji. I mean, like, besides just kicking. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, I guess, did he say that? Or did he mention that? Uh, oh, yeah, the reason why Sanji. <clears throat> only uses kicks in his attacks is because he doesn't want to damage his hands. He stated a few times in different places, uh, or, you know, he states that, hey, I don't want to get my hands damaged, so I'm only ever going to use, 
you know, regular kicks and punches and stuff like that. Because, you know, it's a lot more better for him to not damage his hands that way, so. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the end end. I don't think it is. But, hey. Nope, it's not. So, hey, at least this is something. Okay, time to thin out the rankings a little bit here. Getting swarmed. Okay, that's it. Okay, so, okay, so it was a trap. Okay, I was thinking, like, I'm pretty sure there's a little bit more to this than this. Okay, might as well just do this. There we go. Perfect. See? Pretty well done. Ah, <coughs> uh, uh, dang it. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> okay, gotta get to... Usopp somehow. Come on. Okay, hopefully this can help. Tornado spin! I know that's not the attack, but still, it works. Okay, hopefully this can knock this guy out in one hit. Maybe? Hopefully? Okay, there we go. one who keeps running away from us or you know hiding so don't call us cowards man Hopefully this can kill them. Oh, I'm sorry, knock them out. Remember. Please help. Okay, thank God. Ah, dang it. <clears throat> Oh Jesus! You know, you, you know, you, you know, you, that would usually be like a, oh man, I'm a super villain moment. I'm gonna sacrifice my own crewmates. Although oddly enough, in the actual like manga anime, the rest of his crewmates actually had gas masks on him. Like they were like, 
Oh, I've got a gas, like, we've got a uh, gas mask prepared, like, just in case if he ever uses it. And if they don't, they use, uh, they were near water, so they were like, and eh, we could dive underwater and not breathe in the gas, you know, that type of stuff. So, so oddly enough, it's not that particular, like, moment, but it's, you know, portrayed like that in here, so it's kind of weird. It's kind of funny. It's like, oh, he's even more of a stereotypical villain if you uh, do this type of thing. I will say, in in that particular moment, uh, Gein or Jin, I, I need to remember how to pronounce that, wh which way it's pronounced, uh, Jin was actually, like, uh, didn't want to keep the gas mask because it's like, oh man, I betrayed my captain. Uh, he, he was a Don Creed's pirate, uh, you know, a pirate captain, pirate crewmate. Actually, I think it was his first mate. Anyway, uh, Jin gave his mask to someone else, I think it was Sanji. Uh, so that way, you know, he, you know, that way he wouldn't have to breathe in the gas. And he also gave Luffy a mask, uh, so he ended up poisoned by the MH5. And that made, uh, Luffy angry, because, it's, like, the thing with Luffy that you gotta understand is that he val values loyalty. Especially if you're loyal to your, um, you know, especially to other people. But he also, uh, wants people to respect that type of thing when it's, like, a pirate to his crewmates, or, you know, a captain to his crewmates, where it's like, if you hurt your own crewmates, he sees you as a terrible captain, and he does not like you. And he'll beat you down and make you, you know, realize, like, what an actual good pirate captain is. Yeah, but Luffy will just head straight into that and, you know, fight him regardless. Because that's just how he is. <laughs> like, literally, like, when uh, Don Krieg and Luffy begin to fight, or at least, you know, on their first, you know, hits against each other, Don Krieg fires off... <laughs> plungers. No, he fires off, like, metal spikes a out of a gun. And Luffy just keeps running straight through it. Like, a lot of the shots miss, but some of them dig into his flesh. And then he hits and punches Don Krieg, who covers himself in a spiked, like, cape of some kind. Like, and Luffy just punches straight, straight through that spiked thing, and it's like, Jesus Christ. That's both epic and kind of, like, ridiculous at the same time. You, I definitely, like, suggest going and reading, like, the manga from the beginning of One Piece because, like, reading and, like, reading increments of it is pretty good, but reading up to this point was pretty nice as well. <laughs> you cannot tell Luffy to not do something if he doesn't want to do it because, well, that's just how he is. Um... Okay, where am I? Gotcha. Okay, hopefully this either takes care of him or does something. Yeah, no. You won't get to be able to do get your chance, Don. Yes! Perfect! I'll try my best to end most of my fights that way, so that way I don't have to do it, redo it over and over. And I know I should have played as Luffy, but eh. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, nice hit, Luffy. I will give uh, Don Creek some credit. The guy can take a lot of punishment. I will give him some credit there. Hmm. I have no idea whether or not Luffy has done a similar attack to this, uh, to any other villain, actually. And I mean main villain. Like, I know he's, uh, done a similar attack to an animal. I think it was a lion. But that was with his hands. So, hey, Don Kree got, uh, defeated, uh, uniquely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess they skipped over that. Okay, after Don Krieg is defeated, uh, Jin gathers up the rest of his crewmates. They take a small sailboat, like a really small boat, and they all pile up onto it. And they just leave. I'm not sure if Jin dies or not from the poison. It's never stated or, you know, shown. Uh, anyway, uh, Luffy in the net is unable to, uh, unable to escape too well. But he's also not able to swim in general, so... Uh, Sanji jumps in and saves him, uh, so keep that in mind. <laughs> and, uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, I don't think anything else happens. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, Us uh, right. I, they didn't really show it here, but Usopp, Johnny, and Yozuku with, uh, or no, not Yozuku. Yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah, I forgot. Johnny, Yozuku, and, uh, Usopp with Zoro all take a small boat and head towards where Nami was going. Uh, she's going to Arlong Park, or a uh, village called Kokuyashi, Vil uh, Kokuyashi Village. Not sure what the island is called, I forgot. But she's heading there for a particular reason. They'll explain it in the next part, I think. And what was it? What was it? What was it? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, they're just following her because, you know, Luffy says, hey, she's still a part of my crew. I don't care if she's betrayed us. She's, you know, a crewmate. So go and follow her. So keep that in mind. That's where, you know, Zoro Usopp are. They're with Johnny and Yozuku going to Arlong Park. And Luffy's uh, still here. He said, oh, I'll catch up to you guys later. But for now, um... Luffy uh, is still trying to convince, you know, uh, still trying to convince Sanji to join him. This is a secondary, this is sort of a dream of Sanji's to find the All Blue, which is a place, um... The All Blue is, um... <laughs> okay, okay, the, explain the All Blue. It's a legendary, like, uh, mythical, you know, it's just a legend passed around about a... Uh, sea where it contains all forms of sea life and has all the blues converge in on itself. Like, you know, oh, it's a place where all the types of, uh, you know, fishes and different, you know, uh, environments from the sea from all four of the big seas are, you know, or the east, bl no, the blues, the blues, which are basically the one piece's oceans, you know, uh, all converge and where you can find the best fish ingredients stuff like that there although it's mainly fish so keep that in mind uh that's Sanji's dream to find that so I think he did find it one no I well you know it's not found found yet although the best place he could have found it was definitely in uh you know Fishman Island but you know they they were a little bit busy dealing with something else at the time <laughs> so keep that in mind Oh, okay, here here comes the scene, sort of. Oh yeah, right. In this particular moment, Sanji um, was, uh, you know, still not joining Luffy. Uh, but the crewmates, uh, or, you know, his uh, the chefs on the Baratier <laughs> decided to pull the old classic, hey, let's be assholes to the person we like, just to get them to leave, because... 
that situation always pans out. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. All the other chefs uh, decided to, you know, bash on Asanji's uh, cooking and said, oh, it's trash. And it's like, it, it slightly upset him, but then the one that really got to him was that Zeph said, oh, I don't like your food. And in the manga and anime, it differs, which is kind of like one where I like it and the other one I do like. Like, I like both of them for being different. In the manga, Zeph eats the full soup and then critiques it and smashes the plate. While in the... Uh, no, no, that was in the anime. In the manga, he does not eat the soup. He actually just pours the rest of it down onto the ground and wastes it. Just to showcase that, yes, I he did not like the soup. And, like, I like both of those because it's like, well, Zeph was known for, you know, being, like, marooned on a... Uh, he was marooned with Sanji. So he star nearly starved to death, too. And that's why he has a leg, by the way. He ate his own leg. <laughs> in Again, in the manga, he cut off his own leg just to eat it. In the anime, he had his leg cut off. So he didn't have anything to eat. So it, it was kind of weird. <laughs> but anyway... So, you know, I like the manga and the anime's different interpretation because, like, I think it's pretty cool that he would still eat the food. Like, even if it was bad, it would be like, well, I don't want to waste food, so I'm going to have to eat all of it. And then he smashes his plate like, okay, that was terrible. <laughs> I think that would fit more into his character, but uh, the whole, oh, I'm going to waste food to really, like, hammer in home, like, Sanji, you need to leave, really kind of works, too, so I don't know. Maybe it, it could be just a personal opinion sort of thing. Anyway. Oh, yeah, right. In this moment. Oh, yeah, this also is a moment, too, that happened. Um, oh, yeah, right. Okay. So what happened in that moment when, you know, Sanji was comparing his food to Zeph? Zeph then immediately punched Sanji with his fists. Uh, he doesn't do that. He doesn't use his hands at all, at least in combat or when he's disciplining Sanji. And I do want to mention, it's not like, oh, he's a, extremely abusive. It's just, like, light taps to the head at best to really get Sanji, you know, hey, kid, you need to focus on doing stuff. Anyway, so he actually punches him with his fists, and that also pushes Sanji because it's like, you never use your fists for anything or, you know, punching, only for cooking. And that really pushes Anji into thinking, oh, what the hell is wrong with these people? Why are they being like this? And then this happens. Listen, unless I do this. Yeah, so, like I said, they pretended to be, you know, uh, jerks to Sanji just to get him to leave. But Sanji, uh, you know, <laughs> is still there. Uh, so once, you know, Sanji leaves and they think he's gone, they, you know, explain to Luffy... Oh, yeah, we're just pretending to be, you know, jerks to him just so, you know, he could leave. But uh, Sanji's still there, and he hears this whole thing. So it's like, oh, they want me to leave. So they are acting, they were acting like jerks, even though that's not really smart. But you know what? If they want me to leave, you know, because, you know, it would be good for me, I'll leave. <laughs> that's the, And that's why Sanji decides to leave, finally. <laughs> like, uh... Like, again, I'm not a big fan of that trope of, oh, let's be jerks to the person we left just to make them leave. Just talk with them. Like, seriously, just talk with them, people. <laughs> like, that is a terrible way of handling that situation. those situations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay okay this scene is gonna happen regardless of whether or not they have the models for it you don't want to say goodbye yeah it's fine <sighs> like I'm sighing because it's like oh man I'm already getting emotional slightly from this moment I, I love this moment I mean, <laughs> like, I like the also dub, uh, the English dubs uh, changing of that slightly, where they say, uh, and I do mean like the more recent 
uh, dubs for it where he says like take care of yourself and <laughs> oh man <laughs> got slightly getting teary eyed from this Yeah, the other chefs were, you know, trying to, you know, act tough and not cry, but everyone ended up crying anyway. <laughs> That's, you know, it's okay to show emotion. It's okay to cry. <laughs> oh, man. Th this this always gave me teary-eyed. Even though it's a little bit less quality than, you know, what I usually would see. It, like, the anime and the manga, I think, did this pretty well. So it's like, mm. <laughs> Like, it's, it, like, this game makes certain scenes a little less so, but that doesn't mean they aren't as impactful as they could be. So it's like, this isn't bad, honestly. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, well. well, it's time to say goodbye to Barate and try to find Nami. I think uh, uh, let's head over to Arlong Park and deal with that situation. Oh, man, I feel great playing this game again. I really got to play this more for the channel. And I will. No, oh, I will. <laughs> Ah, all this is total evaluation. Yes. <laughs> I like how it also says kills up top. I keep on forgetting that, you know, we should be, you know, killing people with how strong we are. But, you know, it's One Piece. Technically, they don't die. Like, the weird thing is, like, the world of One Piece has a lot of characters that don't technically die die. They get hurt, but they don't really die die. Even if they really should. Okay. Pretty good. Nice. Oh, oh no. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, I got everything except for that one square, you mother... Okay, well, whatever. Gotta improve Sanji's little, uh, poster thing. Uh, we'll get to that eventually. Okay, a lot of good coins. A lot of spare coins. No, not for now. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, is that it? Okay, good. Now we're on to the next part episode. Episode 4, Arlong Park. Oh boy. <laughs> I will say, like, in all honesty, like, as a fan of the series overall, I will admit, like, the series kind of isn't, like, like, the, gr like, really hits that extreme note of, like, oh, this is the best thing ever. Like, you know, type of, like, experience. It's, like, the, the, the prologue chapter of Romance Dawn, uh, Orange Town, or, you know, Syrup Village, and Parati all have good moments, but the whole story throughout is pretty decent, but it's nothing amazing. Like, I would say, like, Romance Dawn, uh, uh, Buggy's arc, uh, Captain Kuro, and then Don Creek, all of this is good. But... What happens next in the manga for Arlong Park is great. And that's really where, you know, the series picks up from there. Because it's like the series um, stays at a consistently good level with a very good amount of moments. But then it really kicks up with Arlong Park and just gets great from there. Oh, man. But we'll get to that when we get to that. It's uh, the Arlong, like, arc is one of my favorites, like, uh, out of the One Piece's whole thing. Like, there are some, like, more recent ones that are very good, but this one holds a special place in my heart. So, we'll get to that. Uh, just give me a minute to actually grind for this, but I'll see y'all next time in the next video. Until then, my bots, sayonara, and then we'll, you know, like, in the next part, 
will finally be dealing with Arlong himself. So, I'll see you until then.